SpaceX has done it again. In an industry where launch cadence used to mean a few flights per year, the Falcon 9 has redefined the scale, blasting off with such relentless frequency that even the most optimistic forecasts have been left in the dust. As of May 2025, SpaceX has completed 486 Falcon 9 launches. But it's not just the number that matters, it's what those numbers mean for the future of spaceflight. Back in June 2010, Falcon 9 lifted off for the first time. At that point, it was just another rocket in a long line of hopeful challengers. But it didn't take long for Falcon 9 to prove itself as something very different. By October 2012, it had pulled off its first commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. Then in 2020, it carried astronauts into orbit, marking the first time a private company achieved human spaceflight. Still, what's most remarkable about Falcon 9 isn't one single launch, but how often it launches. In 2022, Falcon 9 flew 60 successful missions, more than any other rocket in history within a single year. That beat the long-standing record held by the Soviet Soyuz, which completed 47 launches in 1979. But SpaceX didn't stop there. In 2023, the company upped the ante to 96 Falcon launches. Then in 2024, SpaceX shattered even its own record with a staggering 134 Falcon flights, 133 of which were successful. That was more than half of all global orbital launches for the entire year. SpaceX didn't just break records, it crushed them. The real enabler behind this launch pace is Falcon 9's reusable first-stage booster. Out of 459 landing attempts, Falcon 9 has successfully landed 446 times. That's a success rate of over 97%, and it's not just about landing. These boosters are flying again and again. There have been 419 reflights, with one booster reaching a record of 28 missions. This kind of hardware reuse has never been seen before in spaceflight. SpaceX didn't just make reuse possible, they industrialized it. This changes everything. With traditional expendable rockets, the first stage was discarded after every flight. But now, thanks to reuse, the cost of access to orbit has plummeted. There's no need to manufacture a brand new rocket for every mission, and because turnaround time is much faster, sometimes just a matter of days, SpaceX can fly more often, respond to customer needs faster, and scale operations in a way that older systems simply couldn't match. To understand how disruptive this is, you have to look at the competition. The Soyuz rocket family has launched over 1,700 times. That's a massive number but Soyuz peaked at 60 launches per year back in the early 1980s. Falcon 9 doubled that figure in 2024. The Space Shuttle, often hailed as a symbol of reusability, completed 135 missions over 30 years. Its peak goal was 12 launches per year. Falcon 9 achieved more than 10 times that pace in a single calendar year. The Atlas family has a deep legacy with more than 600 launches across various versions, but its current variant, Atlas V, has only launched 102 times as of 2025. In its best year, it managed nine launches. Falcon 9 came close to matching that in a single month. The Delta II retired in 2013 with 350 missions. Delta IV ended at 45. Both have already been surpassed by Falcon 9's total flight count and at a much faster clip. But Falcon 9's success isn't just about how often it launches, it's also about what it carries. A huge portion of these launches serve SpaceX's own Starlink constellation. That internal demand ensures a steady cadence and fills the manifest without relying solely on external customers. Starlink, in effect, is a built-in business case for frequent launches. Then there's NASA. Falcon 9 is the backbone of NASA's commercial crew and commercial resupply services. It ferries astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station on a regular basis. In parallel, it serves the U.S. military, launching reconnaissance payloads for the National Reconnaissance Office and the Space Force. On top of that, it flies commercial satellites, Earth observation spacecraft, and small sat rideshares. It's a rocket that serves every segment of the launch market, from national security to global broadband. This diversity is a strategic advantage. 
While other launch systems depend on a small number of high-value customers, Falcon 9 spreads risk across many sectors. That versatility gives SpaceX operational stability and ensures the rocket stays busy year-round. Underlying all of this is a relentless focus on efficiency. SpaceX has pushed reuse turnaround times down to just over a week in some cases. The refurbishment process is streamlined, standardized, and scaled. Every launch yields more data to improve the next one. This feedback loop, design, launch, recover, improve, has matured into a highly refined production system. And it's not just SpaceX working alone. NASA's early support played a crucial role. Through programs like Commercial Orbital Transportation Services and Commercial Crew, the agency provided funding, validation, and flight opportunities. These partnerships helped SpaceX mature its technology and establish a foothold in a domain once dominated by government agencies. But even with NASA's backing, it was SpaceX's execution that made the difference. Where other companies hesitated, SpaceX iterated. Where legacy programs tolerated slow timelines and high costs, SpaceX built a high-frequency, low-cost launch machine. And that machine, the Falcon 9, is what's enabling the current revolution in space access. Consider the broader impact. Launch costs have fallen dramatically. More countries and companies can afford to put payloads into orbit. Satellite constellations that once seemed logistically impossible are now feasible. The barrier to entry for space activity has never been lower. That shift is creating a ripple effect across the industry. SpaceX's aggressive pricing and cadence have forced other providers to evolve. Reusability, once seen as risky or unrealistic, is now the standard to beat. Companies like Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, and even legacy giants like ULA are racing to catch up, all building their own versions of reusable hardware. The Falcon 9 set the bar and it set it high. With 486 launches under its belt and counting, the Falcon 9 isn't just SpaceX's workhorse, it's the most launched American orbital rocket in history. That milestone alone would be impressive, but what truly matters is what comes next, because Falcon 9 isn't slowing down. If anything, the trend shows even more acceleration. With Starlink still expanding, international customers lining up, and new missions like lunar landers and space telescopes on the manifest, the rocket's launch tempo is expected to stay high through the rest of the decade. Ultimately, what Falcon 9 has achieved isn't just a record, it's a redefinition. A redefinition of what's possible in launch frequency. A redefinition of what customers can expect in reliability and a redefinition of how space companies must operate to stay relevant in an era where rapid, affordable access to orbit is no longer optional, it's expected. This isn't just a milestone for SpaceX, it's a turning point for the space industry. And as long as Falcon 9 keeps flying, the benchmark for orbital launch capability will keep moving higher. But while SpaceX continues to dominate the launch landscape with Falcon 9, the space industry as a whole is evolving rapidly. One of the most exciting developments gaining traction right now is the emergence of private space stations. The space industry is witnessing a significant shift with the development of private space stations. A notable example is VAST's Haven 1, planned to launch no earlier than May 2026. This commercial space station aims to host missions like VAST-1, which will carry four astronauts aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule for a 30-day stay in low Earth orbit. Haven-1 is designed to support various activities, including scientific research and in-space manufacturing, marking a new era of private sector involvement in space habitation. And as private space stations like Haven-1 prepare to open new frontiers in orbital living and research, Another breakthrough is unfolding in how we communicate across space. Photonics technology, especially laser-based systems, is quickly emerging as the next leap in space communication. Photonics technology, particularly laser communication, is poised to revolutionize space communications in 2025. With the European Union's 10 billion euros satellite constellation project underway, there's a significant push towards adopting photonics for secure and high-speed data transmission. Experts predict that photonics will be central to the next growth phase of the space industry. 
offering faster and more secure communication compared to traditional radio frequencies. Everything in space is evolving, from launch records to orbital habitats and next-gen communication. Stay tuned to get informed as the future of space unfolds. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.